Hey everyone! You know that rush when a brand new camera rumor hits and the whole creator community starts buzzing with excitement? Well, that's exactly what's happening right now with the upcoming Canon EOS R6 Mark III. For weeks, leaks and insider info have hinted that Canon is preparing something huge, a camera that pushes the limits for both photographers and filmmakers. Today, we're breaking down everything we know so far, from specs and features to release dates and price expectations. The Canon R6 Mark II was already a great hybrid camera. It fixed the overheating problems of the original R6, added faster autofocus, gave us 40 FPS burst shooting, and handled low light conditions like a champ. It became a favorite for content creators, travel vloggers, and wedding shooters. But it still had some weak spots. A bit of rolling shutter and quick motion, average battery life during long videos, and slightly limited dynamic range. Now Canon seems ready to take things up another level. The R6 Mark III is rumored to include a brand new 34.2 megapixel full-frame sensor, much higher than before. This could mean sharper photos, better color depth, and improved detail in low-light scenes. Early leaks suggest a faster 14.2 minicers readout to cut down rolling shutter and give smoother motion capture. For creators who love shooting action or handheld footage, that's a huge deal. And here's where things get even more interesting. Video. Multiple reports say we might get 6K 60p raw internal recording plus 4K 120p slow motion with 10-bit 4.2.2 color. That's cinema-grade flexibility inside a mirrorless body. The camera could also feature C-Log 3, HDRPQ, and even Canon RAW light options. Basically, if you're serious about hybrid content creation, this might be the ultimate all-in-one tool. The autofocus system will likely be Canon's new dual-pixel CMOS AF3, powered by advanced AI. It's expected to recognize people, animals, vehicles, and possibly even sports subjects automatically. Imagine filming a moving car or a running athlete and watching the focus track them perfectly without hunting. That's the level of smart AF we're talking about. Under the hood, Canon is said to be using the powerful Digic X processor, combined with a Digic accelerator chip, for even faster data processing. This setup could boost autofocus calculations, image processing speed, and battery efficiency. Speaking of power, rumors claim the Mark III might offer up to 20% longer battery life, which is great news for travel shooters and long event coverage. In terms of body design, Canon is expected to keep its magnesium alloy weather-sealed construction, tough enough for rain, dust, and outdoor work. There will likely be dual card slots for fast recording and backup options. Ergonomically, some insiders mention a deeper grip and smoother button response, giving a better feel for handheld shooting. When it comes to connectivity, Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.0 are expected, meaning faster wireless file transfer and stable connection with the Canon Camera Connect app. You'll be able to transfer large RAW or 4K files to your phone or tablet in seconds, which is perfect for social creators who post quickly. Canon may also launch new RF lenses alongside this camera, the RF 45mm f1.2 STM for creamy portraits, the compact RF 2050mm f4PZ for vloggers, the long-awaited RF 300-600mm f4 5.6L is USM for wildlife and sports. And possibly a new RF 2470mm f2.8L 2.8L is VCM optimized for smoother video focus. If these drop together, Canon's RF ecosystem will become even stronger for every kind of creator. Now let's talk about the release timeline. Canon is rumored to have two possible announcement dates, November 16th and November 26th, 2025. Most insiders lean toward November 16th as the big reveal. If that's true, we could see the camera officially launch before the end of 2025 and start shipping globally by early 2026, just in time for the new season of professional shoots. As for the price, reports suggest a body-only cost between $2,500 and $3,000 USD, which places it perfectly between enthusiast and pro levels. For what it offers, 6K RAW, AI autofocus, and high-res stills, that's incredible value for a full-frame hybrid camera. The low-light performance is another strong point. The improved sensor design should deliver better noise control and wider dynamic range. ISO could easily stretch up to 102,400 with cleaner results, making this camera ideal for nighttime videography or indoor event shooting. Now, let's think about what all this means in the bigger picture. Canon clearly understands how the creator market has evolved. These days, most professionals don't just take photos or just make videos, they do both. 
They need a system that can switch instantly between stills and motion without compromise. That's why the R6 Mark III is so exciting. It could be the true hybrid camera that unites both worlds. Of course, Canon will likely place some limits to protect its cinema EOS line. Maybe shorter recording times in 6K RAW or bitrate restrictions in 4K 120p. But even with those, this camera seems ready to outperform almost every other model in its price class. So who's it for? If you're a hybrid creator, a wedding videographer, a travel vlogger, or even an independent filmmaker, the R6 Mark III could become your main camera. It's compact, powerful, and packed with professional features without the high-end cinema cost. To sum it up, 34.2 MP full-frame sensor dual Pixel AF3 with AI tracking 6K 60p RAW Saub Plus 4K 120p 10-bit video digic X Plus accelerator. Processor combo Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.0 connectivity dual card slots. Better battery life and rugged build launch expected November 2025. Shipping early 2026, if all this turns out to be accurate. The Canon EOS R6 Mark III could redefine what a mid-range mirrorless camera can do. It's not just another upgrade. It's Canon's bold statement for the future of hybrid shooting. So what do you think? Are you excited about the R6 Mark III and its rumored 6K power? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any updates on the latest Canon camera news, leaks, and reviews. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.